Frank, what a shock announcement today. March the 14th, you've set to the British star Amir Khan up for his biggest fight of his career so far, Marco Antonio Barrera. First of all, where did the thought come from that he was ready for a fight of this stature? Um, I was talking to Don King on another match and, and Barrera's name came up. And uh, cut a long story short, I thought, I thought, as I put the phone down, I had another... Well, hang on a minute. This is a—I think this is a great match for for Amir. So I looked at some, dug out some old uh, DVDs, tapes, and looked at them again. And I rang Don. I said, "Look, let's try and can we try and do this?" And he was up for it. He met with uh, with uh, Barrera yesterday, and uh, we agreed to deal. You say you think it's a great fight for Amir. What is it about the two styles that you think Amir is going to be able to be victorious on this night? This is a tough fight. It's a gamble. I mean, it is a tough fight for him, but. Uh, I think that Amir, Amir uh, I think mentally, is prepared for this fight, and I think, and, he, and I think he's got the skills to win it. Um, Barrera, as we all know, is a quality fighter. I promoted him for four of his world title fights, so I know I know him backwards. Um, he was very much in the early days of when I was looking after Nassim Hamid, was an opponent I always wanted for Naz in those early days before Naz didn't. Train as he should have done. Um, I just think I, I, I think this is a, I think this is a tough fight, but I think this is a good move for Amir in, in his career, and uh, hopefully it'll pay off. On the FWTV websites, you know, a lot of the fans are coming on, and they firmly believed that uh, Amir Khan was going to be brought back with just build-up fights, build-up fights to get his confidence back from the Prescott knockout. This, um, and you know, and I think probably most people thought that was that was the way it was going to go, but this has shocked everybody. Uh, did you consider at any point thinking, bring him uh, along slowly, let's get his confidence back? It wasn't about bringing his confidence back. I think his confidence has always been there. I mean, the Prescott fight, he got clipped, and that was it. You know, it was not a fight that I wanted to make at the time. I mean, uh, we, we sort of we all know the history of that with the old trainer who picked out the opponent so forth and, and the instructions he got from the corner to go and fight, fight the guy was wrong. Um, I think Freddie Roach makes a big difference to Amir. I think Amir, you only got to see him today. I think his confidence level is there. I think he rise to the challenge. And it reminds me a bit, although it was as an, an, as an amateur, when he lost uh, in the Olympic Games to um, Kinderland, he wanted a rematch with Kinderland. Now, not many kids do that just before they turn pro. He wanted it, and he, you know, and we studied the tapes and thought, hang on a minute, we'll go for this, and, and we did, and, and he went and done the business at, in the ring in good style. I think this is a fight that he can win, and I think it'll bring him on and uh, keep our fingers crossed that's how it turns out. Now, with Amir Khan uh, working a lot with Freddie Roach in LA, obviously, uh, 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 Barrera is an American fighter, sorry, you're based you know, more or less over in America. There could be a fear by a lot of British fans that this fight is not going to take place here in England, but it certainly is, isn't it? Yeah, we've announced it 14th of March, it'll be in the UK, and uh, we are announced the venue within the next few days. We know the fans, the British fans won't have to travel. You know they're not going to, you know, uh, shell out for an airline ticket, a hotel, and especially with a dollar being what it is. You know that's it, it is what it is. So hopefully, um, you know they'll they'll turn out, and I'm sure they will, to see a great fight in the UK. We've mentioned that it's a tough fight for Amir Khan because we know about Barrera's pedigree, but Marco Antonio Barrera is not going to want to lose to a young 20-something, you know, coming through the ranks and have in wanting to, a name to staple to his resume. Barrera's going to be up for this fight. Of course he is. I mean, I'm quite sure that Barrera will look at the, uh, you know, will look at that Prescott win. Um, you know, Barrera's not signed for a fight in his mind to get beaten. You know, he's a proud guy. He's a quality fighter. He's a good fighter. Um, you know, he's obviously going to fancy the job, and he did. You know, he, by the fact that he signed for it, shows you that. Um, but you know, one of us is going to get it wrong, and uh, and I'm hoping, and I believe it would be uh, Barrera who's got it wrong. And we talk about Amir Khan, uh, the fights that he has had in the past. This for the British fans, for the boxing fans, even just Amir fans, they need to come out and see this one because really, it's such a close fight. It's a great fight. Yeah. You know, there's a you know. We're all talking now, is it too soon? Has he got too much? Is he going to be too big? You know, there's all these different different uh, arguments who's going to win this fight. That's what makes great fights. So we'll find out on the 14th, you know, actually who is the best. And added to that, you're going to have Enzo Macronelli in his title fight on the same card, Nicky Cook defending his world title, Kevin Mitchell. So it's going to be a, a quality bill, so they're going to value for money for the fans. And, uh, and I hope 
they will all support it. Thanks, Frank. Thank you, my love.